Andrew Cuomo, governor of New York. We've been covering Andrew Cuomo for a little bit, especially when the first instance of the uh, claims against him for misconduct in the workplace a couple of months ago. You can watch that video again if you need to uh, get a little recap of everything that's gone on. So basically, the past is caught up to bite him. And this new wave of Me Too and this new wave of people being able to speak up and talk out about the superiors doing really bad things to them. And on the heels of what happened with Blizzard, once again, there are more people who are being outed as just absolute awful people to the, a lot of their subordinates. So we get to Andrew Cuomo. Over the last couple of months, a slew, a bevy, an absolute uh, typhoon, a, uh, a tsunami, a monsoon, there you go, of sexual harassment allegations have come out against the governor, Andrew Cuomo. And he's been denying them. He's been, he's been fighting them hard. He's been saying that this is cancel culture, this is cringe, and he never did anything wrong to women. He loves women. He loves women. It, do, do you love beer, Senator? I... I love beer, Senator. He knew that he was uh, he was free, or at least that's what he wanted you to believe. In all actuality, he absolutely wasn't. He knew he wasn't. Nobody else knew that. Uh, nobody else thought that he was. But he was fighting tooth and nail to get to get you to believe to fall into the trap of thinking that he wasn't as awful of a person that he that he was and is to his um, subordinates as he claimed that he is. But that fight ended about a week ago, basically when just absolute definitive proof against him came out. Because not only are these just women speaking up, not only is it just like the media bringing this to light, not only is it any of that, not even only is it the um, uh, people uh, people like um, uh, Schumer and AOC and um, uh, Mondaire Jones and all of the other uh, House representatives from New York and the state Senate and representatives from New York and state officials from New York putting together a, a joint statement to say, dog, quit your job. We don't want you here anymore. The final nail in this coffin was the AG coming out with a awful, devastating uh, result to her investigation into his office um, that came out just about a week ago. And we can listen to some of this. These interviews and pieces of evidence reveal a deeply disturbing yet clear picture. Governor Cuomo sexually harassed current and former state employees in violation of both federal and state laws. The independence investigation found that Governor Cuomo sexually harassed multiple women, many of whom were young women, by engaging in unwanted groping, kisses, hugging, and by making inappropriate comments. Further, the governor and his senior team took actions to retaliate against at least one former employee for coming forward with her story, her truth. And governor Cuomo's administration fostered a toxic workplace that enabled harassment and created a hostile work environment where staffers did not feel comfortable coming forward with complaints about sexual harassment due to a climate of fear and given the power dynamics. The investigators found that Governor Cuomo's actions and those of the exec executive chamber violated multiple state and federal laws, as well as the executive chamber's own written policies. This investigation has revealed conduct that corrodes the very fabric and character of our state government and shines light on injustice that can be present at the highest levels of government. But none of this, none of this would have been illuminated if not for the heroic women who came forward. And I am inspired by all the brave women who came forward. But more importantly, I believe them. That was the um, attorney general who spoke out on the Cummo investigation. She led a very long and very detailed investigation into uh, Cummo's office to um, to uh, see if any of these things held merit. She was able to find a lot of corroborating evidence. She was able to find some admissions to uh, by some people who were around Cummo. Um, uh, for for the things that he's done and the things that he said and she was able to come to the final conclusion that yes he absolutely did this saying awful comments about him making inappropriate touching um lying about them and then also punishing them and kicking them out of the office when they spoke up or said anything about it this is classic textbook old school um a behavior by some of these people and not only that all right we can talk uh, we can talk about andrew Cuomo. But we, we can't talk about Andrew without talking about Chris, okay? The Fredo brothers. These two boys, all right, piggybacked off of each other, swung around all the time. Chris would have Andrew on his show where they'd pal around, where they'd brother it up, where they'd have a, a good old laugh. While behind the scenes, Andrew went back to go harass 
his subordinates. And then Chris Cuomo didn't want to touch it at all. He didn't want to touch it. He didn't want to touch it. He'd have his brother on for a laugh and a meme. And then he'd go off and be like, yeah, I don't know about any of this stuff. I'm going to keep my hands off. Um, <laughs> I got to see you guys later. This I have nothing to do with this. There's complete hands off. Um, while, uh, while this was happening, just literally trying to rehabilitate, launder his image through his show. And it's just really sad. The, the corruption wheel does not just... Uh, does not just take up Andrew. It takes off the other people. Uh, it, it takes up the other people who are around him, who um who enabled this, and also Chris Cuomo on his show, who allowed this, who allowed his brother to get away with this without speaking up about uh, against him at all. He, I know he he he. I know for a fact he's heard of some of this, and then play it off as like he's trying to be impartial by not saying anything about it while still having his like brother on to um uh for for good memes no one thought that anything was going to come from this that andrew cuomo was just going to continue his role continue on um uh like nothing ever happened until earlier today where he made a statement saying that he is finally resigning uh from office the best way i can help now is if i step aside and let government get back to governing. And my resignation will be effective in 14 days. The most serious allegations made against me had no credible factual basis in the report. Now, don't get me wrong. This is not to say that there are not 11 women who I truly offended. There are. Offend. Oh, the wor the worst stuff, the worst stuff about me. Don't worry. That shit's fake. But I did hurt some girlies' feelings. Sorry. Like, offended? Offended. Offended. Is is this isn't about you being this isn't about them being offended. This is about you sexually harassing them. You harass them. That's not being offended. Why he, why is he using like 2016 like um uh, anti SJW language? I mean he he's basically this entire time been talking like an anti SJW. Um, talking about how all of this is false and how he's being like manipulated and this is all cancel. He literally is like, this is cancel culture, fake news. And like, I, I love how during Trump's presidency, he was like this big anti-Trump firebrand. But the second the shit, um, the shit rolls down his hill, he goes, whoa, hang on now. Look at all this fake cancel culture lies from women. And for that, I deeply, deeply apologize. In my mind, I've never crossed the line with anyone. But I didn't realize the extent to which the line has been redrawn. I'm gonna... <laughs> What's happening? Death. The line's been redrawn. Oh no, they snuck the line up on me. I was just busy sleeping, slapping my uh, uh, my secretary's ass. I'm sorry, listen, I was playing the bongos on Sarah's titties and all of a sudden, out of just nowhere, someone moves the line up on me and I'm like, oh no, I offended her. I hurt her feelings. What are you talking about? Like you then moving the goalpost on you? It's always been over there. It's stand. It's sitting right there. He's standing in the goalpost. He's hanging off the goalpost like 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 at some the monkey bars. And he's like, I can't believe you moved the goalpost like this on me. I cannot see. I didn't. Who saw this coming? I'm sorry. I offended you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I offended your thick but uh, badunkas. What's ha this is incredible. This is incredible cope. This is incredible. He takes no. He takes no regard for his actions at all. This is how you know that this guy does not belong in any place where anybody is under where anybody is under him in a position where they where he can control them in any way. Um, he doesn't. He needs to be removed from from public life. He cannot hold any position where he has any power over another person because he will use it to um, uh, to try to um, to try and e extract things from them if it's not like sexual gratification or like something else or like just generally abuse them this is not this is not someone who cares this is not someone who knows that they've done something wrong this is just looks bad for him and he thinks that he can keep as much money as possible by leaving office now without letting it tarnish his um uh, tarnish his image more and he's just gonna go back be rich um and maybe in a year's time, hop on his brother's show again. I don't know, maybe be a, a contributor at some like uh, a news network and then join and then with all of his connections to big business, slip and slide into a, a director's board somewhere. And then we'll never hear about him again after he like uh, starts collecting paychecks from some from some corporation. This is this is his plan. This is his plan. And he's going to go back to try and doing this again. This guy is sick. He is disgusting. 
he is a bad human being. He deserved to be impeached. Um, if they if they can speed up the impeachment process, they should do it before he's he resigned. Um, and they should and they should ban him from holding any public office in New York. And honestly, he should be banned from holding any public office from anywhere in this country because he is a disgusting human being. I can't believe he's literally using like Republican cancel culture lines. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you were offended. I'm sorry I offended you. I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. I'm sorry you felt like that. I didn't know the the line was moved on me. And you know what that means? You know what that shows? That he thought everything was perfectly okay. I mean, he said it himself that he thought it was perfectly okay. He thinks that everything that he did was perfectly okay. Perfectly fine. Who could, who could have seen this coming? Perfectly fine to say those things about my uh, 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 employees and subordinates perfectly fine to touch them perfectly fine to do this and that um, and, and never for a second in his mind thought he did something wrong and thought he was completely in the right he doesn't care he doesn't feel sorry for the things that he did he feels sorry that he got caught and it made such a big mess for him and so that's the only thing that he worries about the only time he ever worries is when it affects him and his and his paycheck and his um and his pride and anything outside of that is just like completely out of his control he doesn't want it he doesn't care about it uh, if you step into his life and then he puts his hands all over you sorry listen sorry i offended you it's really gross and i'm and i'm i feel sorry for all of those women there and the more that he talks like that the more i think yeah he probably he probably did that the really bad one which I, which i would imagine would be the groping he probably did that more likely than not he probably did that um, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, um, and he would still be doing it now if he had the opportunity to. Because as we say, it's not about me. It's about we. What? Kathy Hochul, my lieutenant governor, is smart and competent. This transition must be seamless. We have a lot going on. I'm very worried about the Delta variant, and so should you be. But she can come up to speed quickly and my resignation will be effective in 14 days. He gone. Come on, gone. That's nice, at least. At least he's gone. We can at least be happy about that. Goodbye, come on. Goodbye.